So as you can see, I have a Flutter project here. The Flutter project would build. Everything seems to be all right. The problem is that I cannot start this Flutter project because I have no device selected in Android Studio. So this is not enough because I know that I have another ABDs as well. I go to terminal, I bring this window up and what I will check is Flutter emulators. This is a command which I was showing in one of my other videos. It will show the emulators available. And now he's telling me, ensure you have some Android AVD images available. So obviously there is some problem. If you want to check what problems you actually have with Flutter, you run Flutter Doctor as the first thing. And that's when I found out he's unable to locate Android SDK, Android toolchain unable to locate Android SDK and he's giving me as an option flutter config Android SDK command to update to the location where my SDK is installed. What I will do is exactly the same thing that he's suggesting. I found the Android SDK on my system very easily. This is because it's usually located under C users, your username, add data, local Android SDK. So this is my Android SDK path. I copy it out and paste it into my terminal and then I will simply just write flutter config android sdk and the path and hit enter. But now we will do exactly what he's suggesting to us. You may need to restart any open editors for them to read the new settings. So setting android sdk has been changed to this path. I will do exactly what he's suggesting, I will stop it, I will leave my Android Studio and I will restart it once again. My project will get loaded. I will try Flutter Doctor once again. And as it appears, everything is alright. No issues are found. I will try to run Flutter emulators. Now I have all four Android emulators available, while here in this dropdown I still don't have anything more than Chrome or Edge. I will simply just run Flutter emulators launch. I will add the ID of my chosen virtual machine. And here it is, it's up and running. Android Studio immediately notices that the emulator is running and selects it as the default one. And now I will run my application in it. Soon it should be built. Okay. And here it is. So this is sample application and everything is working properly. And that's all folks. Please like, comment and if this is the first time you are watching one of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.